Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mixel. Today I'm bringing you Monk Monday number 105. I'm pretty sure. Thank you so much for anyone who submitted any gameplay. For those who don't know what that is, you send any gameplay you have to this email right here. And I critique it, review it, your cooldowns, your teammates' cooldowns, everything. I do everything from Mistweaver to Windwalker, Mythic Plus, RBGs, PvP, PvE. It doesn't matter any MMR. It literally doesn't matter. I think the best way to learn is to, or, you know, Record your gameplay, have it reviewed either by you or somebody else, and you will pr improve drastically. So, today we have War, and they say, Hello, Mystical. Sorry, this is edited. You don't have to edit it at all. It is fine. I have nowhere how to. You don't have to edit it. I promise you. I'm having so much trouble. I'm just coming back to WoW from Mr. Pandaria. Lord help you. It <laughs> A lot has changed. The game feels so unbalanced. It is. Druid stacking CC, Major Rose stacking. Yep, cooldowns, DPS doing insane healing, healing. He was doing insane DPS. Pally's being able to bubble and attack. Yeah, meanwhile, my in cap has broken my damage. Now I'm not I'm not very good by any means. I just have no idea how I'm even supposed to play when I spend most of the game CC'd. That's the life of Mistweaver. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Thanks. Love your videos and streams. Thanks so much. Also, I know my UI is a mess. I'm new to add-ons and still learning. PS I have a dual monitor, so you hear my auto for my second monitor. No, you're good. I, I mute it. Don't have to apologize at all. I I reassure you it, it's fine. Um and I know exactly how you feel. Trust me. If if I was just coming back from MOP, I would be just as confused. So um, so I see that you are using LFG. Let me make sure we're just at the highest thing. There we go. I see that you are using LFG. I am an expert in LFG. I know. Trust me. I know your pain. It looks like we're going with a demo or Desha or luck. I don't know which. But... Yeah, let's see. It looks like we are playing with a Demo Warlock, and this is from last patch. So we are playing Echoing Resolve, Mage Lock. So Demo Warlocks actually have a really good chance to... Oh, wait. It's not Demo. Playing Voidwalker. You should go with the Foe Guard. Um, this is interesting. So we're Gnome as well. So this is going to hurt, mostly because we'll be sitting in full stuns. Zen Focus T, Eminence, Chrysalis. I would recommend dropping Chrysalis for Peace Weaver just because Peace Weaver is really, really good for combustion, essentially. That, that's what I would say. And almost, almost. I mean, Chrysalis is fine too, but yeah, I would definitely say that um, that Peace Weaver would be better than Chrysalis just in this situation. It is kind of weird because I'm pretty sure this is a Demo Warlock and he's playing Voidwalker. He should absolutely be Felguard. And Demo Warlocks actually counter Rogue Mage pretty well because they can actually Axe Toss um, while they're CC'd as long as the pet isn't CC'd. So um, one thing I would recommend if you're not is I would definitely play Sefus versus this. This Rogue is hella undergeared. I would play Sefus versus this because it reduces CC on you by 10%. And I know it's not a lot, but it, sometimes it's enough. I would assume Combustion is coming out there. There's Death Pact. It, no, no Combustion. It's Sap Off. It's just the, pretty much made. That is Shadow Blades from the Rogue. And we do Howl. Oh, is this Affliction Warlock? Must be an Affliction Warlock with this Howl. Okay, I thought it was Demo. No, he's Affliction. So that's fine. Um, What you're going to try. Oh, and, and we're Venthyr. I love it. I freaking love it. Um... So we use Fallen Order, which is good. We use Howl to Peel, which is even better. And that was their opener with Shadow Blades. So I think we're doing, we're overall in a pretty good spot here. We got Enveloping Mist out too. Incap, I would recommend not incapping because you're playing with an Affliction Warlock. So that's gonna make it more difficult to get spread pressure. And I would just like Sweep. Oh, that song is a little too much for me. Holy cow. Okay, let's change that. And we got Yulon out, which is good too. Um, Mage is you're just fireballing to reduce the cooldown combustion. We're like ports. We're using four set. We get locked, but that's fine because they don't have any CC. Um, positioning right now is a little weird because we're pushing in on the mage. What, uh, what I would do, if I were you, is right here. Instead of pushing in onto the mage, go to the opposite side. Like get out of there don't you don't want to be anywhere within like 40 yards of this mage so try to get far away from the mage at like as far away as you can instead of rolling into them roll roll away from them make their life really hard uh because now we get full polyed we don't have human ratio on our warlock um and this is combustion so a lot of damage nice leg sweep and he blocks for it so now all of a sudden the mage looks like the kill target here um 
Try not to ink up any dots off. We do have the Dark Lair coming out from the Warlock. And I think overall, I mean, I think we're doing pretty good. We're stunned. And we I think we're running Eminence, aren't we? Are we running Eminence? Life Cocoon us. I could have sworn we're running Eminence. Maybe I'm crazy? No, am I crazy? No, we're running Eminence. So you don't even need to bubble this. Yeah, you don't you don't need to life cocoon this go on you because you you could just port this and you'll be fine. You could port to spell your warlock and you'll be okay. So again, kind of a, a mistake on our end, just because instead of life cocooning yourself, could have just um just ported and you would have been fine. Maybe wrap the mage off the edge. Nice drop. Alright. Being really annoying to the mage, you'll love to see it. Polymorph for lining, really good. Tried to spell the warlock, and now we have eminence. We still have eminence. Oh, I don't know when we reset. I don't know when we reset our port down there. I really don't. But we could gate. Oh no, we can't. We already used gate. So nice fear from your warlock. Maybe my computer. Okay. Incap on the mage. Again, incap is good, but I would I would be careful with it with an affliction warlock because this is dark soul, and now the dark soul dark soul dots are gone. So keep that in mind as well. Yo, you instead of just trying to focus on surviving, you do want to live. Um, you do want to get in combat as well because you're gonna get sapped by the rogue potentially. Cheap shot on you. I'm trying to think what we can do. It's just combustion. Yeah. Uh, what you need to know about Mistweaver is uh, you make a mistake and you lose the game. That that's, that's it. Um, if you make a mistake, it, the game is pretty much over. So the mistake really just came down to this right here. Um, just try to focus on. Well, we're playing Eminence, so your first go-to, your first offensive, no matter what, no matter what situation, is always going to be port because it gets you away from them doing damage and gives you time to heal. Uh, what I would have done is probably ported here, dispelled, as soon as I saw Polymorph my Warlock, where is it? I would have ported and then dispelled Warlock because it, it's not 1v2, it's a 2v2, and your Warlock can help you peel with Howl of Terror and stuff like that, so keep that in mind. Um... Yeah, that, that's pretty much the only mistake this game. I think healing-wise, we were fine. We keep renewing Mist on everybody. Expel Harm was good, too. So, we still have Fort Brew as well. I, do we use it? I guess we still have Fort Brew. Oh, no. Fort Brew at the end here. Yeah. I, I think you were doing fine until the one part where we use Life Cocoon instead of uh, porting. So, that's pretty much it. And also reset your port after you use it. Fury Warrior Acid Rogue. Oh no, this will be interesting. Um, what uh, can I see talents here? No? Okay, that's fine. Uh, I would Eminence, Disarm, Zen Focus T probably for this in case they try to go you. We're gonna miss. Perfect. Be careful because you're out of range of your port. Okay. Nope. Careful. Sap on your warlock. Get in combat with the rogue. Perfect. Warrior wants to go you. Port is fine, but again, now you don't have port for stun. So, yeah, now we don't have port for stun. And we shrink it. So, right here, sometimes it is good to use port before being stunned. It's fine. Other situations where this team is probably going to train you to the absolute dirt. It's probably better to just hold off on your port until they stun you just because they have th that's really the only time they can kill you so Before you port Wait to get stunned by storm bolt or kidney shot and then go behind the pillar with port because now they storm bolt you And now you have to trinket and that's vendetta as well and we're looking for oh he's necro lord so fine and we lose life cocoon so very important, and we just in-cap. Nice leg sweep on the trinket, though. That's really, really, really good. Um, yeah, try to try to keep yourself alive here. Try to put a hot up, enveloping mist or something would be good. Nice toss from your warlock. That looks like um, the what is it? That that annoying DPS trinket. Nice port here on the. This is perfect right here. Good port on the kidney shot. You're fine. Now that they now they need to either swap your warlock or use the ability to get to you, and you're you're good. That's fallen order as well from you. So no one should be dying here. We are playing Nausea, it looks like. 
try using Theodore. Let me quickly pull up a Soulbind calculator for Venthyr. What I would recommend for Venthyr and what I play when I play Venthyr is I go with Soothing Shade. And then I go with the Fortifying Ingredients for the Endurance Conduit. Go with the Watch the Shoes because then they get you out of Roots and Stairs. You can't usually you can't use Door of Shadows when you're rooted, which is really annoying. And then for Potency Condo, I'd probably go with Imbued Reflection. And then I'd go here. I, these two don't matter. And then you get an Endurance Conduit, which is... I'd probably go with grinding breath or harm denial i like uh i really like expel harm so i'm gonna go with um, harm denial and then what you want is you want wasteland propriety and what this does is it gives you six percent versatility and then it gives your allies three percent versatility so you go with finesse conduit i like lingering numbness so i go lingering numbness get wasteland propriety another endurance conduit i would Respondent Miss is definitely your go-to for this because your mastery. And then even though this is useless, I think you kind of want a third endurance conduit. So we'll probably go there and then get grounding breath for the extra healing on yourself. And then get party favors for the extra stats. So if you're Venthyr, I'd recommend this. Nausea is good, but she's not great. I think Theodore is way better. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, but we do have Fallen Order going, and we shouldn't die here. Nice drop on the charge as well in their damage. So we're doing really good right now. I would maybe... No, I would. Pro I definitely wouldn't in-cap. That's the biggest thing with Affliction Warlock, especially... Oh, this Warlock is so mad at you. This is his Dark Soul, so we in-cap all, all of the dots from the Dark Soul. And I'm pretty sure this Warlock is, like, dead inside right now. But that's fine. Um, it, it was a really good job peeling for us, and, yeah, I think we're chilling right now. Rogue's looking for a re-stealth, I think, behind the pillar, and Warrior's still on you. We are... Are we out of range of report right now? I think we are. Nice revival. That's good. Evasion from the Rogue won't do much. Report away, which is perfect. And the Warrior dies. Perfect. So the only really mistake this game, one, try not to in-cap your Warlock's dots off. They're going to hate you for it. Trust me, I've gotten yelled at plenty of times, especially in RBGs. But two, try to use your port when you get stunned, especially in openers when everyone has their cooldowns. If if the other team doesn't have cooldowns, you can normally just sit the stun and then port after. But in the opener, when you know the other team has all their cooldowns, you probably just want to sit the stun, let them use their cooldowns or whatever, and then port. That way they just waste their cooldowns. Uh, what do we got here? We got Windwalker, Destro. Um... This, this is probably Zen Focus T, Eminence, Peace Weaver. I'd probably play versus this. And it looks like we're playing Song of Chi-Gi, which I don't think I would... Versus WPS, I, I wouldn't recommend probably playing Song of chi just because the games go by so fast um, that you don't really get a whole lot of value out of it. But we got Statue Down, Port Up, in cap on you. They're going to try to go you. We're out of range of our port, so be careful. Okay, good, 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 good. Nice. And then we can get off that. I would definitely. Or Rob. Uh, when the when the Windwalker pops his images, so like right here. So th this is like, the images are most of the w Windwalker's damage. This is where you would use Rob. Or Leg Sweep. You could also Leg Sweep before Fist. And then Leg Sweep the images. Because you want to deal with those images as fast as you can. Otherwise, you're going to fall behind. Uh, or have to trade cooldowns out. So, either use Rob, which I don't think you have because you're playing Song. Or use Leg Sweep to um, stun the images. And then we port the stun, which is good. Beautiful. Windwalker gets to you. They normally will get to you. And then we have to use Life Cocoon. You don't actually have to use Life Cocoon here. You could... Actually, your your Warlock could also howl the images. So it's not just you. Um, I would Gateway here. Yeah, I would definitely... I would use... Um, what do we got here? We got Healing Elixirs. I would probably use Healing Elixirs. Maybe Revival to like get the fear on your warlock and then use oh do we battle master nice okay so we use battle master and then yeah just use gate and you should be fine and then you can roll behind the pillar that's what i would do because now we use battle master cocoon okay i think we i mean we survived the burst which is good but be careful because the damage really does never end that's coil on your warlock nice good kiting here from you if the windwalker is smart he'll pour to you he doesn't that's good <laughs> um be careful though. we want to stay behind the pillar uh gateway is perfect good yulon beautiful kill the warlock nice oh maybe your warlock dies in the coil nice unending resolve from your warlock great great door of shadows as well keep your warlock alive in cap <sighs> yeah the the those in cap on the windwalker would have been better because i think the dots are off the windwalker right now but man we're trying to kill the warlock right now Let me see if there were any dots. Let's see. 
Oh, I guess there weren't that many dots on the Warlock. So I guess you're fine. I think you're fine. I think your, your Warlock is just focusing on uh, staying alive. Yeah, it's Coil. It's pro that's your teammate. Yeah, I don't think there's much of anything. So I guess that, that was fine. But he, Warlock is at 9 stacks. So at 10 stacks of this, they're going to have an instant Chaos Bolt. So be careful. That was unending result from your Warlock, though. So they can't kill your Warlock now. Windwalker's healing. We're kind of turtling right now. I would probably try to do damage. Yeah, I, I would definitely do as much as I can to just make sure that your Warlock can do damage. Great job resetting your port. Great job staying far away. This is You're doing perfect this game, honestly. Uh, that's Diffuse Magic from the Windwalker. We're just slowly trying to get cooldowns out of the way. Um, no kicks really on you. So, or yet. So that's nice. Song of Chiji, again, probably wasn't the player. Incap on the Windwalker, nice leg sweep. Perfect. Song of Chiji. I would really not play Song of Chiji because, again, it gets rid of dots on your Warlock and it makes your Warlock's damage bad. So, Incaps and Song of Chiji, don't use it when you're playing with an Affliction Warlock. Take it off your bar. You don't want to use it at all. You want your Warlock to be dotting everybody, not getting rid of them, and... Uh, and especially versus this, I think he might be struggling. So we port. Nice. Uh, the port's a little weird. This is Kirin and Juan too. So we are a little scared right now. Um, that is Karma. So this Windwalker is all in right now on you. Um, if we can roll away. Perfect. Nice. That's an instant chaos pull on you. I think we're... Nice. Nice. That's Karma. We're just going to keep kiting. Windwalker's really close to dying. If we have stun, we don't have stun. That's okay. If you're on you, it's fine. It breaks. And your Warlock is just going to town on the Warlock. Oh. In cap. That's Dark Soul from our word luck. Yeah. Our mana wise, we're doing good. Our survivability is fine. We have Trinket. We have Fortifying Brew. Um, we have Life Cocoon. I think soonish. So I think I think I know we have Life Cocoon. So we're looking good right now. We're looking really fine. Uh, fear on um, their warlock. I think your warlock reflected that fear onto their warlock. So that's good. And now we just need to survive these images. I would probably either leg sweep them or or rob them. Oh, we're playing song. Never mind. CS on the warlock could potentially go for a touch of death, but I don't know. It's looking a little sketchy over there. It's looking a little dangerous. But yeah, I'd probably go for maybe a chaos ball on you. Another one. Maybe get a kill on the warlock. Oh my god, how long is this warlock gonna live for? Like actually, yeah, you could definitely just roll in for damage. Yeah, I would roll in. Yeah, give me give me a little touch of death on this warlock. Freak him out a little bit. Touch death. Dude, Dan. Did that not kill him? Oh my god, that's actually. In that's incredible. <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, cocoon on you. Does the pod live? Oh my god, the pod lives. Okay. Infernals. We just used life cocoon on ourselves, so I don't know if we have anything. Um, we have revival, actually. No, we should be fine. We just use revival. Alright, that's fine, too. Um, I hope we're not dead here. So we're doing a pretty good job. There's Fallen Order. Beautiful. Lining. Good. We're doing good right now. Yeah. We should be fine. I would reset your port too, just in case, you know, you're rolling around the map a little bit. Um, in case I try to swap to you. Because I think we're out of range of our port right now. Spell the Fear. Perfect. Okay. Incap on the pet so we can free cast. I'd like it. So they're just running right now. I think that they're waiting maybe for Dark Soul or something or some kind of big one shot from the Windwalker, maybe Leg Sweep. So just be careful is what I'm trying to say. Be be very careful. Um, damage on the on the Warlock is good. You should probably try to weave in some Crackling Jade Lightning just for a little bit of damage um, or Rising Sun Kicks on whoever you can. But I think overall we don't really need to right now. Um, stun on the... Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that you oh no, that warlock is not happy with you right now. That's all of his dots with uh all of this, and it just goes away. Just goes away. Song is definitely not the move, especially when playing with the warlock, because then it DRs with fear. It DRs with fear, so that that kind of sucks. Fear on you. That sucks. Yeah, I feel like you guys definitely should have should have won this game. Um, I'm trying to see if there's a way we could have killed the the. We if if there's ever a, ch a time where there's a pod, you kind of want to do damage with it. So let me see. We get the kill here. 
Get the Todd, get the damage. Yeah, I would stick around and do damage. Um, because I don't know if there's an in cap on your on your warlock. Yeah, I don't know if we actually I don't know if warlocks actually affliction warlocks can do damage to the pod. I don't think so. I don't even know if we were gonna be able to kill it even with your damage. So that just sucks. Biggest thing in this game though is when playing with anything with dots, do not in cap or song anything ever. It is their damage just gets cut in like a third. So keep that in mind. Um, you definitely want to do your best to not. Is that the last game? You definitely want to do your best to not, you know, mess with their damage. I think the rest is UI stuff. Let me see. I don't see any other game. Omni CD is really good cooldown. What do we got? Omni CD. Yep. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Yeah, that's, that was it. That's it. Okay. Um, overall, the games really weren't, weren't that bad, in my opinion. The first game, again, Miss Weaver's. If you make one cooldown, you're, it's over. <laughs> it sucks. That that's that's just how it is. Um, the big the the mistake in this game was um, not porting while stunned when you had Eminence, and then having the waste cocoon. So just keep that in mind. You obviously know the port while stunned. I mean, obviously. So just keep that in mind. It, it, sometimes I do forget as well. So it is annoying. So just keep that in mind. Otherwise, I think you did fine. You were you guys did a really great job peeling. This one was good. Just tr at the start of the game wait for them to use their cooldowns then you can port let them use the mobility and then gate or like roll away and you'll be fine um, but overall yeah this game was really really good and then this last one just unfortunate i hate res mechanics in arena i think it's really really annoying do not use incap or song especially song when you're playing with an affliction warlock because one it drs with fears and two it gets rid of all their dots so keep that in mind everything else was fine healing wise it was fine cooldowns fine um you stay alive versus windwalker which is impressive so that's really good and uh yeah that that's pretty much it i feel like you definitely should have won this game you the pod is just really annoying i don't think affliction warlocks can normally kill it unless they have like i don't know soul rod or uh the other ability that they have i forget what it's called I mean, maybe ui or something but or ua but yeah that is pretty much it hopefully this was helpful for you or or anyone that might be struggling i know it's really hard versus rogue bands trust me i lose every single one of them it's really annoying um but yeah if you have any questions please let me know i am more than happy to answer any questions you might have and that's it for me hope everyone's a fantastic rest of your day hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you later